part of being a baker is knowing how to work with different raw ingredients. And when you're working with more conventional flours, it's going to be very consistent. And that's great when you're trying to make the same thing every day. When you're trying to make something new and different and push the envelope a little bit, milling our own fresh flour makes it so you can make something unique. No one else is going to have these same varieties of grains and they're not going to have the ability to make this. When we started adding fresh milled grain, instantly we noticed more aroma. We got a sweeter flavor, something that's a little more tender and better keeping quality. Customers are picking up on this and asking for those breads and starting to eat more whole grains. Everyone likes trying new things. I think there's a lot of possibility for people to realize that grains have unique flavors. A stone mill, it's two big old pieces of granite and they basically rub the grain. This is a much slower, more gentle process and so you're not degrading the grains quite the same as the more conventional milling processes. And so when you do that, you're going to preserve more of the flavors. We actually have to adjust our formulas on the spot. Depending on how the flour is milled, the strength is going to change so the dough might not be very strong and hold up. So it might be a really flat loaf of bread. So there's certain things the baker is going to have to do to compensate for that. All these freshly milled grains are going to absorb a different amount of water. So the baker has to really know and be in touch with how much water to put in the bread. They ferment a lot quicker. There's more available sugars and all the minerals make the yeast a lot happier. So you really have to be on top of your fermentation times. There used to be so many varieties of grains that's largely been lost and if we can get people to grow grain on a smaller scale they can increase the variety and diversity and with that we access a bunch of different flavors. To me we're in search for having a relationship with the person who produces our product. I think the more relationships we have, the stronger the movement becomes. We can help each other and work towards a grain that's going to make sense for the farmer and make sense for us and that the consumer enjoys eating. If we can get access to a greater variety of heritage grains, we can start to discover more flavors and greater possibilities. Bakers can use them. I think chefs can start using them in a variety of dishes and also opens way for creativity and I think consumers want that. Something that's becoming available now on the market are smaller home mills, which are great because you can work with more local sources and get grains and have them available and mill them fresh in any setting. Often the grains that don't work well for bread will work great for pastry. We've had to learn how to incorporate some of those into our pastries. You get a whole different texture and flavor profile. Bread making, it's a craft and it's not static. I mean, there's plenty of new things to figure out and endless possibilities of the way you can blend grains and combine them and ferment them and bake them. And that's what it's all about.